This week's OIO prep profile is a four or five or six sport athlete. In the winter, Elida senior Mallory Etzler puts in time both on the basketball court as well as in the swimming pool. It's an arrangement that has actually worked really well for all the parties involved. Pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, she knows that basketball, basketball is her number one winter sport, um, but I work with the swim coach and you know vice versa. So she'll come to practice and might have to leave a little bit early to go get some swim practice in. And so, but I mean, she's just a great kid who I wouldn't expect anything less from her. I honestly don't really like look at my schedule. I just kind of go with it day by day. Like the, the night before my dad will ask me, what do you have tomorrow? And I have to like think about what I have tomorrow. And that's pretty much how I go with it. <laughs> I like the workout that swim gives me. And because I tore my ACL, it's a lot of pressure on my knee. And so sometimes basketball hurts that, but swim makes up for it. And so it's a workout that I can do to get in shape, but it's also a lot easier on my knee. Whatever sport Etzler's playing, she's making a difference in the lives of everyone around her. Oh, she's she's Mallory. I mean, she's she's a typical Etzler. Um, anybody that's in this area knows Etzler last name. Um, she just comes from a great family, and her a leadership. Um, she might not get all the points on the floor and stuff like that, but you know the stuff that she brings to our team, leadership wise, is second to none. Work ethic, and then mostly vocally. Um, there's sometimes I'm like, Etz, don't be so vocal. Um, but somebody just makes a nice play in practice and she goes and gives them a chest bump. Um, kind of our, our motto this year is the teams that touch the most win the most. So high fives, chest bumps, uh, fists, all that kind of stuff. And that's what she brings to our team, which is phenomenal. I'm most excited to be with the team that I have because we have a lot of really good players coming and I'm just excited to play with them. We've got a lot of soccer girls, which hopefully that, that winning tradition from the soccer program trans, transcends into the basketball season. So pretty excited for this year. Actually, we're gonna try to play defense this year. So um, that's what we've been stressing is like a really hardcore man-to-man. -man. Um, we're gonna try some pressing because of our quickness um, and we need to score in the transition. So, you know, our, our half-court offense is struggling a little bit. So we need to push, push the ball up the floor and get some easy baskets. This summer, Etzler went to FCA Leadership Camp up in Liberty Center and has seen the dividends of those 48 hours away from home. It's like taught me to have a lot of patience and it's also taught me to be a lot more outgoing and um, it's also helped me with my FCA at school. I've been more outgoing my FCA camp and we've been trying new things this year that we haven't done in the past. Like we have meetings on Sundays also, so we've added in more meetings and we do more things like play games and get people interacted. It's gone really well. We've gotten more people to come to meetings and it's also like we have a close relationship within our FCA because we play games together. It just makes us closer.